Hi, welcome you all on this TikTok video. In this video, we are going to talk about how can we store the data back to store stream in custom scripting, which we use in data processing. Let's get started. So the first thing is the components and shapes which we need or which are required to use. So the first thing which we which is basically needed is a process which we are going to build, and that is a component. And the shape which we are going to use, which is mandatory, is a data process shape, which itself will hold the custom scripting. Now, rest of the shapes like message shape, stop shape, and branch shape are optional. They can be used or they cannot be used. It totally depends on the interface of the process which we are building. So here in my process, this message shape is nothing but it will store the static data that is going to be manipulated. And why we have used this branch shape? We will talk about it. But branch shape is nothing but it will create a set of branches which can execute the same document in different different branches, and they execute sequentially. That is what branch shape is. Now. First thing is, what is this data process shape? So the manipulation of data, which we do, we usually use data process shape. It has many functionalities. One of them is custom scripting. Inside comes custom scripting. It provides two basic scripts like Groovy and JavaScript. So let's get started with Groovy. So this is a Groovy code, which we are going to use inside our custom scripting component in Groovy. So let's break down this code. The first line, or you can say the first four lines of the code are nothing but the importing of different libraries, which we are going to use. So the first is used to call the properties or to import the properties. The second is the input stream, which is going to provide us the input. And the third one is the execution util. It will use to store the execution level properties. And the third is buffer reader. Buffer reader is nothing but it basically help us to write back to the input stream, which is which we are going to use. Now, the next thing is def payload one. This is a static data which I have used. This can be replaced with the actual data or the transformation which is being done after the logic. So I have used a static data. What this will do, whatever the data is coming before this shape will be changed with this static message that is hello, I am Groovy. Now, the next thing is a loop that is a for loop. This for loop will continue with the number of documents. So, the data context is an object which holds a method get data count which store the number of documents coming to it. Now, we have given input stream is is to data context dot get stream i that is nothing but a data context as we talked about data context object it will store many methods one of them is get stream get stream is nothing but to get the data what is coming then again is the get properties method that will hold all the properties like we have in boomi we have certain number of properties that is document property dynamic document property process property dynamic process property and mime properties these can be stored, these are stored inside a grid properties. Now, to manipulate the data inside the document which is coming to the shape or the set of documents which are coming to the shape, we are going to use this loop. If we do anything outside this loop, it will be done on a single document only. It is not like it will not act, it, the whole script will execute once and it will write only once for execution. If we write any code inside this script, or you can say inside this loop, all the logic which we are writing or giving inside this loop will be depending on totally upon the number of documents or uh, which is coming to this shape. So now this buffer readers open a input stream, which will store the data back. So to do that, we have to import this buffer reader class. That is, we have done in the fourth line, as you will see, import java.io buffer reader. And we have given the new input stream reader. After opening this, we have used the out data to open the new string buffer. In the out data, we are appending the data which we supposed to store, that is payload one, that is a static data. After everything is done, 
we are storing everything back to is 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 nothing but a variable which is storing the entire data in a document so here we have given outdata dot to string to convert the data which is stored into a string because the data which we are going to store in a document will be stored in the form of string only and we have to define the encoding that is utf8 which is being used so we are defining get bytes utf8 after that we will store everything back to data context object that is for that we will use store stream and this is what we have in the groovy script or the code let's see the same implementation in boomi and how we achieve this for that i have already created a process in boomi let's analyze that process so this is a simple process which i have made on boomi so i have used a static message or a static data it is not a static that you can say it is a dummy data which i am going to test and here is a start save which is required to trigger any process and it is not optional it is it will be always there with a process component after that i have taken a message save inside that this message save i have taken the static message that is a xml document with hello in it then i have used a data process save where i have used custom scripting as a processing step in this we can make this script as a component so that the same logic can be used across different number of processes or we can make it inline script so that this logic can be implemented in this process only so i have used inline script then i have taken language as groovy 1.5 as we have groovy 2.4 as well you can use that also this code will work with both of the groovy scripts now then we have to click on edit script after clicking on the script we have to copy paste the entire code which we have seen earlier and we will save this so as you have seen we have copy pasted this in the code and we are saving this then again we will save all the things and we have used stop save to see the documents now we are going to test this data to test it we have to go to test mode inside that we have to choose our atom for a time being i am using a cloud atom but it is not mandatory to use cloud atom you can use your local atom or a atom which is installed on a cloud anything is for it can be used any runtime engine can be used either a cloud a molecule or an atom everything works fine now we will test this code as this is executing so what we will see i will explain that we will first get the xml data from the message save that will be that will be passed to a data process save after this data process save gets that document the data inside the document will be manipulated with the uh, static message which we have given that is hello i am groovy and that will be passed from the data process save to the subsequent save that is stop save let's see the save source data in the data process save as you can see this is a custom data or a dummy data which we used as this is an xml data now let's see in the stop save what we have so as you can see the data which is being passed to the data process save gone has manipulated and there is a simple string which is print, printed that is hello i am groovy which we have given statically so this i have concluded for groovy now the same thing can be implemented for javascript as well there is a little bit change in the codes as these two are the different scripts but yeah we can achieve this same functionality with the javascript as well so in the javascript let's see the code so here in the javascript we have to import a compatibility script compatibility script is nothing when the certain functionality is not in a javascript which you are using or the uh, application is which you are using is using then we have to import a compatible compatibility script for that we have used load 
and inside that we have given nas on modula compact.js which will have certain functionality like we can import the java classes in the javascript as well to do these kind of transformations we need two java classes that is execution.util and byte array input stream these two we need after that we have to again give the same for loop for each of the documents to get executed and we will write our whole logic inside that loop only for that we have defined the variable is which we is going to store all the input data and the variable props which is going to store all the properties then we are creating an output stream that is nothing but a static message which i am printing that is hi i am javascript this in output string can be replaced with the actual data which is which needed to be stored inside the script then we are creating a byte array or you can say input stream the same way we have done in javascript sorry the groove script so in this input stream we are defining the encoding as well as you can see we have defined new java dot io dot byte array input stream output string dot get bytes utf8 that is we are enforcing it to use utf8 encoding then we are passing everything back to the props that is data context dot store stream new stream props so we have passed everything back that is what we have done so first there was some data which will be passed to this data process safe later on after this data process safe the data will be changed and the document which is going to produce will have the changed data let's see the same implementation in boomi as well so let's switch to boomi now as we i talked about right we have to use the branch safe the branch safe is nothing it will distribute the same set of data among different branches so as we have tested for groovy let's attach a branch safe here so the branch safe has a functionality where all the safes or all the branches execute sequentially so let's attach the data process and the stop safe which contains the javascript code i have already copied those so let's move them we will select and we will move to the desired position we will attach this we will save as we have already seen this message safe will contain xml document and this javascript code again we will use the processing steps as custom scripting but this time in the language we are going to use javascript then we have to copy paste the entire code which we have seen here and after this code we will save the code and we will test our process let's test the process now again what will happen xml document will be passed to this data process save but after this data process save whatever static message we have stored that will be replaced in the actual document and that document will flow from this data process save let's see the safe source data in data process save so here you can see we have xml document now we will see the safe source data in stop save so now the data is being changed so this concludes how we can store the data or which we are going to store back to a store stream inside the custom scripting so with all being said we conclude this tiktok video hope you find this tiktok video useful and informative until next time happy integrating